improv show before. Oh, we got some people, we got some new people. But the way that this sort of thing works is we're going to be making things off the top of our head. If you've ever seen uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway or anything like that, basically throughout the night we're going to be needing your help, we're going to be needing your suggestions. So whenever you hear me ask a question like, what's your favorite color? Green. Green. I heard green. Okay. And what's your favorite movie? Favorite Potter. Okay. You're going to have to be a little bit quicker, be a little bit louder. Come on, you guys. Um, what kind of car do you drive? A piece of crap. Oh, thank you. That was awfully loud. <laughs> questions throughout the night and we're going to be making up scenes based off the suggestions that you give us. And I want to go ahead and introduce the crew that we've got here. First off, we've got Colin. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's literally. <laughs> 
Yes, Mom, I know, I got a, I got a doctorate, but I really like packing fudge. <laughs> Maybe I can put another piece in there, I'm not sure. Uh, lady, yeah, 
that you've ever seen, right here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, what the? I mean, where'd you find that old ball and chain? Uh, well, we met it when we were getting root beer floats at the skating rink. Oh, uh, that reminds me. I gotta get your drinks. I'm sorry, I'm not to Okay, I, I kind of have to pee a little bit. Oh, hey, dog here. How are you just, uh... <laughs> I was just unbuttoning my blouse. <laughs> for what reason? Uh, I, I was just looking at my breast in the mirror, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, when you were tearing apart the loopholes in my contract, I couldn't help but think about the loophole that connects your button to your ship. <laughs> and I'm glad you took it off <laughs> for a short period of time. Uh, I'm glad I did too. I really needed it. Do you know if my pizza's coming? I'm awfully hungry. It's sad. And I do still have to pee. <laughs> Bring me a root beer! <laughs> what the hell am I doing? I just got this pizza! Oh, um, thank you. No, that's not for you. That, that's oh. for her. Remember? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's your cheeseburger. Thank you. I forgot that she likes to munch on those phallic images. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I peed on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey! 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 I was just talking to the to, to the bartender. He kept saying that this woman keeps showing her pizza like encrusted breast. Oh, you need to get, you need to see a German talk. What the hell? You said pizza again. <laughs> oh, it's all about like a pizza. I told I you you yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Just forget the pizza. Just you know, just go on with your life. Tell me, just. <laughs> You have to hide that pizza. He cannot see that pizza. <laughs> that is so cruel to show that pizza. Did you at least bring a root beer for our memories? Yes, and I won't pee in it. <laughs> the last clause in the contract. Sometimes it's just better to be alone. Aww. Um, 
I'll have the most country thing you can think of. <laughs> That'd be our root tune, root beer. Woo! Oh, yeah. And what can I get for you, sir? Uh, I'll just have a water from the mud hole down the street. A water from the mud hole down the street. Freeze! Sarah, you're mortified. I, I, I'm sorry, sir, but I, I can't go oh, down the street. Haven't you heard? The last person to drink from that mud hole died. He got dysentery and just completely everything emptied out. He was just nothing left of him. He was that's like a lamb noodle. Yeah. Oh. Freeze! Chris, you're happy. Oh, well, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we all need a good clean out. <laughs> one that served in that water and he was he was limp as a wet noodle after. Freeze! Hold on, you're sleepy. Oh, I'm just a wet noodle, eh? It, 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 was, it was awfully, it was awfully terrifying. I felt so bad. They made me tell his family. Oh, that's awesome, man. <laughs> I mean, I would have told uh, the family twice in a row. I would have sung his family a lullaby. <laughs> so awesome there. Freeze! Chris, you're sneezy. Shit! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm sorry! I think I'm having wet oh dreams. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. You're sneezing so much. Maybe, maybe I should get you a sort of napkin of some sort. I'll just... Oh, 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 Sam, you're turning on! Oh, oh my yeah, goodness. Give it a lot more. I'm, I'm, I'm so, sorry. It just, you, you reminded me of someone that uh, used to come in here all the time. Especially with those uh, red cowboy boots. They really suit you well. <coughs> oh, 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 oh my goodness. The way, I'm sorry. I hope this isn't a too for, forward of me. But the way your body gyrates when you see <laughs> It's very unprofessional of me. Freeze, Colin. You're Peyton Manning emotions. <laughs>
are going to be having a scene, and in this scene, they are going to be coming out into the audience. And if you feel one of them tap your shoulder, that means they need your help. They, if they tap your shoulder, they just, they just want you to... I don't know, you're back there touching me. So, basically, uh, whenever, whenever they tap your shoulder, you're going to say something and they're going to have to repeat whatever you say and then work it into the scene. So, let's say, Ben, you say something. I cannot wait until I eat tacos. tacos. <laughs> It's going to be something like that. But, so basically, they're going to have a scene, and whenever they tap you on the shoulder, you can say absolutely anything, and they will work it into the scene. So for this, I'm going to need, where is the last place you would want to go on vacation? At Detroit. I heard Detroit. So. Detroit. Detroit. I uh, I don't I don't think I fit in here. I, I there's gunfires and I do not like I do not like guns. Yeah, I don't really like them either. But is this part of the plan? No, I mean I thought we were relocating to L.A. but they sent us to Detroit. Man, <laughs> talk about wrong way flight. I know, right? This is this is like this is worse than Frankfurt. <laughs> Don't you ever say anything is worse than Frankfurt. They killed my puppy there. <laughs> Look, I, I just... I, no, 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 no. Do no. no. you know how much I love my puppy names? Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. <laughs> you need a puppy grilled cheese, you're going to eat it. Well, I didn't mean it was so stupid back when Rednecks in Frankfurt. I didn't blame like anyone for eating it with his name grilled cheese. I mean, you know what? Well, the, the worst part was what they had with it. Alligator. Alligator? I don't even know where they found one in Frankfurt. I don't know either! But that still doesn't forgive them for celebrating Matt Bevin's electric election. I can't even tell him so bad! <laughs> Look, we all know that grilled cheese was a great dog. He was! That one time when he saved the unicorn? The unicorn? I mean, who even knew unicorns were actually real and all of a sudden my backyard there was an epic unicorn! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Nobody asked, well I kind of asked, but that doesn't matter, Tom! Uh, well, fine, Ben! <laughs> That's right! That's yeah, right. me! Alright, so anyway, so look, we've got to find some way to get out of the city alive. Well, that's easy, we just go back to... Narnia. Narnia! That's where the unicorn came from! <laughs> I can't, the wardrobe's locked! The, the key! I, you know where the key is? Yeah! The wasteland. The wasteland! That's why we're in Detroit! <laughs> 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 look, look, we gotta fight. We gotta cross the river over here at Flint. No oh, problem. Well, I don't say you're gonna do that without dying. Well, so someone needs to just drink some of the water and. and. and just die. Oh. <laughs> what happens when you drink the water at Flint. You know the last guy? You know what ended up growing out of the back of his head? Mushrooms. Mushrooms grew out of the back of his head. And they were hallucinogenic and it was awesome. Right, and he's a millionaire now. I know, Michael Moore is a great guy. <laughs> I mean, besides that one time when he shot... Uh, yeah, him. Oh, uh, uh, Tsunami? I mean, he shoots Tsunami. Well, that's true, and he was pretty high on the mushrooms. I mean, it's directly going into your blood system when it's growing up. I'm just rambling. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did you hear that? It sounded like... Peanut butter jelly song. It sounded like a peanut butter jelly song. <laughs> a song by... <coughs> the president! The president! <laughs> he's in Detroit? I think he's probably here to give a speech or something. Oh. You know, to, to try to help things get better? I, I, I don't know, but maybe, maybe, maybe where, where do you think he is? Are you asking me or are you tapping him? I'm not tapping him. I'm asking you. I have to tap him. Oh, well, I don't know. If he's thinking about peanut butter and jelly, he might be digging in a trash can with that homeless guy. Oh, you, you mean the one over there that's dressed like 
Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Yeah. Santa Claus. Yeah. Santa Claus. Yeah. That's, that's that's only in Detroit. This might be a crazy thought, but would it not be a great idea for the real Santa Claus to go to Detroit during the summer? I mean, come on. If you were Santa Claus and you went to Detroit, would anyone ever suspect you of being the real Santa Claus? <laughs> it's no worse. It's no worse than the all misfit toys. What the hell are we talking about? <laughs> It's coming, yeah. <laughs> Why are we not talking about gonorrhea? Because my girlfriend told me not to talk about it. <laughs> well, you should have warned her before you. Before you awkwardly looked at her and didn't say anything. I can't help it. It's part of the disease. <laughs> No, no, you just infect anyone. Huh? I do that because I have chlamydia. The stuff is practically jumping off of me at this point. I deserve to be in plant. If we're jumping off of you, I think we're friends. That makes more sense. You know what? I heard that your girlfriend's a fan. I'm going to you at the front. She just laughed for a moment. She said I love you. Even after all of that, she said I love you. Oh. You know what I did? I stared at her awkwardly. Oh. And now she's kind of yes, you did. weird <laughs> stuff going on down there. And she still loves you? That kind of reminds me when me and Cheeseburger saw... Oh, uh, see, I knew Cheeseburger, too. Forget about Cheeseburger. Grilled cheese and I... Barney. Barney. We saw Barney. <laughs> Barney Miller. Great show. You know, I just had a thought. I might have a cure for your crabs. What? The water in Flint. It kills everything else. Just bathe your poop, your pubes in Flint water. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to swim over to that wardrobe, and I'm going to retrieve the key from the wasteland that is Detroit for all of us while killing my chlamydia slash crabs. And when I get over there, I'm going to shout to the heavens, Praise Jesus and Hallelujah and Pat Benatar. I didn't want to disappoint you, but 
I think I have to leave. I have to move on with my life. Crazy. Just like your mother, but nine months before you were born. <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> I know it's an awkward subject. I know, I know, I apologize, I apologize, but this is what she wanted from you. She wanted you near me so that I can help bring you to be a great, noble, and, and honorable person. How am I supposed to know what she wanted from me? She's gone. Well, it's, it's you. Right here. It's me. Oh. See right there. Oh. See right there. Where she was flashing me that one night when she was drunk. <laughs> Then we're with Bungie. It's funny. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I mean, uh, you should just yes, you should stay. Although, perhaps you could open your own school. Think of the potential. Then, then you can kick people in the face and not even have to have my attention. But, Sensei, it's just, there's so much more to this world than just karate. There's so much more that I can do. I feel like I have potential Don't you think I do? Yes, you could probably do Taekwondo and Kung Fu and Tai Chi. That's not what I mean. I mean something out of the realm of the kicking and punching stuff. Fencing! Well, I, I kind of thought about fencing, but I really didn't like the foil. Oh, well then, maybe you could try a... I'm sure there's, there's Kendo, there's... Uh, right here. <laughs> There's also prostitution. That's right, I got my start in and freeze. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, it's it's expensive to open your own school. And you know, I had to get the money somewhere, and I was young, I was hot, I got any more. <laughs> yeah. It's it worked out for me, I knew it I really don't think that that's the road that I want to go down, honestly. I mean, I'm not knocking the people that do it. It's just, honestly, I, I don't want to be a prostitute. I can't believe you suggest that to me. You're my father, too. Everything. I know, but I, I just, every person has their own life. And sometimes the path will have a path. Sometimes it's a spook. Are you telling me that I need to get new silverware? <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if you deserve that <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just not being very clear. That's one thing I was never good at is this whole vague, you know, sensei, teacher bullshit. Tell me this. I know you love Star Wars. Was Yoda ever clear? No. Was Obi Wan Kenobi ever clear? No. Well, he was kind of clear when he was a ghost, wasn't he? Well, maybe. Yes. How do you group that? I've seen it, though, maybe once or twice. You know, they, there are mysteries to life, there are mysteries to me, the sensei. And those mysteries are what you must figure out before you can become a grand sensei and open your own school or become a prostitute or whatever. You're very wise. Yes. And maybe I should take your advice. Maybe, you're right, maybe I should stay here and just do what I know. Very good. That will lead you far down your path. And one day you will find your fork or your spoon. <laughs> maybe even the knife? <laughs> if you're sharp enough. No! <laughs> Here that can answer any question about life that you have. 
Sam is going to be giving you good advice, the kind that you can take home and talk to your parents about, that you might actually want to listen to. Ben here is going to be giving you bad advice, stuff that you can listen to and probably want to avoid. <laughs> He's going to be giving you advice that is just plain ugly. So, for our panel of experts here, can I get a deep and important question about life that you are dying to know the answer to? Your first period. What about, what about your first period? What should you do? Oh my god. What should you do when you have your first period? question that every girl is going to have to go through and what you should do is one if you find that you have started your period maybe you see a bit of spotting in your underwear what you want to do is go to a trusted adult so go to your mother or maybe your aunt your grandmother someone who you can talk to they can get you your feminine products there are options between pads and tampons you can find out what works best for you and then, you know, honestly, it's going to be something that you're going to have to go through for the next 40, 50 years, or however long, you know, it's going to last. And it's just, honestly, it's something that you're going to have to live with. And it, it's, it's not that bad. Yeah, we got like, it's actually pretty bad. But once you take some ibuprofen or something like that to help you deal with cramps, it's manageable. Also, chemical tea really does help us throwing that out. Yeah. Alright! Now, first off, if you're still having a period after 40 years, something wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's still, I mean, come on. <laughs> Second off, let me put this down. Okay. <laughs> Second off, why are you asking that? There's people eating. <laughs> that is the grossest thing I've ever heard. You're talking about spotting? What? <laughs> what it? It, sure, so is waking it, but you don't hear me asking about that. <laughs> Everybody does it. <laughs> and if they say they don't, they're lying. Because 
Maybe that's not where your passion lies. Maybe you want to go to a trade school. Maybe you have ideas and you want to be an entrepreneur. The thing is, if you go to college, just try, do your best, and try not to stress yourself out too much because if you do, you're just going to make it a lot harder on yourself than it needs to be. Life is short. Don't sweat the small stuff. Thank you all, Mark. <laughs> Because you can act a fool there. <laughs> you can drink anytime you want. You can make out with anybody you want. Man, woman, occasional dog, if the moon hits you right. <laughs> you try to do that out in the workforce, and they're going to throw you in jail. <laughs> and whenever your kids look at you and say, Mommy, I'm attracted to both sexes. You can go, so was I, but it's college, so it doesn't count. <laughs> Stay in school. <laughs> there are three reasons that you go to college. <laughs> the first is so that you can bankrupt your parents. <laughs> Although they've learned to pass that on to you. So that's your problem. The second one is so that you can be brainwashed by the liberal education system of this country. <laughs> they teach you that it is okay to be who you want to be. And that's not okay, because that's not what this country was built on. This country was built on traditional conservative values that, that they teach you not to follow anymore in college. And it's wrong. And it's what's wrong with this country. And it's destroying us all. The third reason it's free birth control. <laughs> oh yeah! See, see step two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. What's another question for our panel of experts? Dark yeah. or milk chocolate? Dark or milk chocolate? Dark or milk? <laughs> Well, they do say that dark chocolate has a lot of antioxidants. It's actually supposed to be good for your heart. So, but it's a little bit more bitter. It all, I think it really depends on what you're using it for. Dark chocolate may be a good with a nice glass of red wine as a nice treat for yourself. Uh, milk chocolate is really good for baking. Although, if you don't like something too sweet, I would go with maybe semi-sweet chocolate chips for baking cookies. But I don't have, like the aftertaste, so I usually do go with milk chocolate. Honestly, it really depends on what you're using it for. Um, I, I usually go with milk chocolate, though, personally. I've been having a struggle in my mind to go where I want to go with that question. <laughs> You, well, you just said dark. You didn't say dark milk. You didn't say dark chocolate. You just said dark. And my mind went there. <laughs> and it shouldn't. <laughs> so I'm just going to say milk because I don't want to be beaten up. You're up, Tom. What? You have stumbled onto one of the most esoteric questions that has ever been asked in the history of the human race. <laughs> because on this side there is milk chocolate, and on that side there is dark chocolate, and over there is white chocolate, which is not even really chocolate. <laughs> milk chocolate has its finer points of being sweet and wonderful, silky, Creamy and where was I? I don't know. <laughs> right. And there's dark chocolate, which is more chocolate than milk chocolate, and is which is more chocolate than white chocolate, which is not chocolate. But the dark chocolate. It's not my favorite. Fine, I'll go there. <laughs> Centuries. <laughs> By the milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. Everyone loved 
old chocolate. <laughs> and that was all that they ever wanted. Until Hershey's came along and made the special dark. <laughs> that you could only get in the mini bags. <laughs> which was part of the discrimination against the special dark chocolate. And they didn't really get the little pieces of it, which is totally not fair because it was clearly better. <laughs> the final Hershey's made the full size special dark, which was bigger than all the ones in the mini bag. <laughs> and everybody knew that. But that was, the question was which was better. <laughs> I don't know. I'm riding along, man. <laughs> as far as which one is better, what we need to accept is that neither is better. We are all milk chocolate and dark chocolate. And neither one is better, and we all are just one big wad of chocolate. Thank you. It's going to be a game for Opertuna, and uh, just real quick, while he's getting that ready, uh, I was going to say it's being for Ben, Tom, and Chris, so, but, uh, yeah, you might, yeah, Ben, Tom, Chris! But, you might see bits of piece of paper on your table, and that is going to be for after intermission, and just on those pieces of paper, go ahead and write down, you know, favorite movie quotes, favorite book quotes, basically anything you would like to hear uh, our improvisers say up on stage. It can be anything. Okay? And this game, it's really hard to describe, so you're just going to have to watch it. But for the suggestion, what is a mundane activity that you have to do every day? Brushing teeth. Brushing teeth. Okay, over tuna, brush your teeth.